Okay, thank you. Welcome, Countdown, as everywhere. Welcome to our third day of our Supreme Championship. Ah, yes, the uh, Supreme Championship. Believe you me, we're all chums here, aren't we, Carol? Yes, we are. Even you and I are for this championship. As always. Okay, and uh, old friends are meeting up together. All the best contestants from the last 14 years will be coming to the studio for the rest of this series and fighting it out for this marvellous title of Supreme Champion. So let's meet uh, our champions today. Here they are, John Clark and Derek Coombs. <laughs> ah, those smiling faces. John Clark from Jarrow in town in Weir. John is a, a management accountant, as indeed he was when he first appeared on Countdown. But then he was 30 and he was single. That's how he was in them their days. Well, now he's 40. And he's married with two daughters. He became the champion of Series 11 with eight straight wins. But later in 1987, he lost narrowly in the semi-final of the Championship of Champions to Harvey Freeman, who will be appearing in a few weeks. Now, John has a record of nine wins out of ten. So welcome back to you, John Clark. <laughs> and, of course... John, in addition to being a great countdown, but also a great chess player, you still play chess, John, do you? Oh, yes. yes, that's right. Good. Well, good for you. All very good at board games and good at uh, countdown as well. Now, here's Derek with the colourful shirts. Derek Coombs from uh, Corsham in Wiltshire. He's 33 now and he's married and he's still in the RAF as a telecommunications controller. He appeared in Series uh, 20 back in 1990. Look, still a jolly face chap. Uh, you were a corporal then, still a corporal now, but uh, there he's done very well in Countdown. He's won ten straight games before losing out by one point in the final to Liz Barber. Now, he was working in Gibraltar when he returned to play in the sixth Countdown Champion of Champions in 1993, but he was defeated in the quarter-final. But he has a record of ten wins out of twelve, so good luck to you, Derek Coombs. Well, still a corporal after six years, but uh, I reckon the most famous corporal in the RAF, OK? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, OK. Now, those are our two champions for today. Now, yesterday, our guardian of the dictionaries uh, got his revenge when he scored with the eight-letter winner, Sheepdog. Well, he's hoping it won't be a trial again today, and he doesn't get the collie wobbles. So please, will you welcome Nigel Fleece? I mean, <laughs> Reese. Hello again. And um, sitting next to me, the charming Susie Dent. Thank you. Yeah, OK. <laughs> OK, that's enough applause. Let's get on with the game. John, welcome back. Um, off you go. All right, we'll start, start with the consonant, please, Carol. Thank you very much, and I agree. Welcome back. We start then with R. And another one, please. N. And another. Q. Sorry. A vowel, please. A vowel. O. And another vowel. A. And another vowel, please. U. A consonant, please. C. And another consonant. S. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. And I. So there we are, first selection of the day. So let's start and play. Derek? Six. Six. Derek, six. Acorns. Acorns, yes. Acorns. Yours, John? Acorns. Acorns, yes. Mighty oaks. Right. Little acorns, etc. Yes. Nigel? Acorns, absolutely wonderful. 
Can we do better than that? Yes. I'm just checking <coughs> our last contender here, which is Carius. Yes, which you what could have. That's for seven. Carius, which is of bones or teeth. It means decayed. Ah, yes. With caries, yes. That's so how right. are we spelling it? C-A-R-I-O-U-S, as you can there see there. Are. For seven. Yeah. Well done. There's also cousin for six, but... Yeah. Carius is our offering. Okay, thank you. Well done. Carius, six apiece here. And we go into your choice now, Derek. Constant, please, Carol. Thank you very much, Derek. L. And another consonant, please. G. And a vowel. A. And another vowel. I. A consonant. P. And another consonant. S. A vowel, please. A. A consonant, please. R. And a, another consonant. And another consonant. Thank you very much, Derek. And that's B. So now we start the clock on this, the second round. Six again, John. And six. All right, John, six. Spiral. Spiral? S P I R A L. Yeah, spiral. Yours, Derek? Grails. G R A I L S. Uh, as in holy grails. Yeah. Yeah, you're hoping. In that case, it might well be capitalised, oh, okay. and um, in which case I would have to just let. <coughs> yes, it is, I'm afraid. Uh, Bad luck, Derek. It's capitalised, and under the rules of the game, we can't allow capitalised words. Sorry. Mm. No Sorry. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. None of those. All no. in capital letters. Yeah. 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 So what have we got there? We've got uh, 12 uh, there for uh, John, and poor old Derek didn't get his there, but never mind. Uh, round three to you, John. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, John. T. And another one, please. S. And another. And R. And a vowel, please. A. And another vowel. O. And another. E. And a consonant. T. And another consonant. M. And another consonant, please. And another, another consonant. <laughs> and another T. Ooh. Thank you. Round three starts now. Seven. A seven now. Derek. Seven also. Good, 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 good. Derek, seven. Rotates. Yeah, right. That's spiral, last round. Now we have rotates. Uh, you? Uh, tatters. Mm -hmm. Tatters. Mm -hmm. Tatters and rotates. We're mm -hmm. happy with this for seven, Nigel. Tatters. Gosh. Fancy that big again. Um, could we offer you an eight? We could. Um, this is an agent that you could have a tester, which means a witness. A test or from a test. One who attests. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. For eight. For eight. A test store. Good. Nice one. Thank you. For eight. Well, we've got uh, three letters games under our belt now, so 19 and 13, and it's numbers, please, from you, Derek. One from the top and five from the third row, please. From the third row down. Thank you, Derek. Three, four, and five. Right, then. These are your numbers. Seven and one, eight and nine, and ten... And the biggie's 50. And the target is a reasonable 471. So we're after 471 in 30 seconds. Time starts now.
471, Derek. I've got 471, but I've not wrote it down. No, you don't have to write it down. No, as long as you, when I ask you, as long as you go through it. Um, John? I've got 471 and I haven't got it written down either. <laughs> <laughs> well, who shall I choose? I'll have, uh, I'll have the flowery shirt of Derek. Right. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus the 7 is 2. 50 minus 2 is 48. OK, 50 minus that gives you 48. Times 10 is 480. 480. Eight, uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. Take it away. Yes, you haven't used that, OK? So you subtract the 8 and you subtract the 1, and uh, that's 471, yes. Yeah, spot on. Uh, John? <sighs> right, uh, 7 times 8. All right, OK. 7 times 8 is 56. Minus 9. Minus... The nine, yes, is 47, yes. Times 10. Multiply by 10. Sorry, yes, I'm just working out which way you're going here, yeah? Not the one. And you got the one left? Yes, excellent. 471. Yeah, well done, boys. Uh, 10 points for each. A very good way for both. <laughs> well, good first half. Um, tightly fought, 29 and 23, so nothing in it. So to take us into the break, here's Nigel. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> uh, I have mentioned before the hundreds and hundreds of ways we have of saying that we are going to the lavatory, uh, but saying it in a sort of discreet, uh, roundabout way. Um, Frank Deakin of Wilmslow suggests that we ought to call such phrases loophemisms. <laughs> but it seems that they go back um, longer than you might think, further than you might think. For example, Fred Bennett of Bradford on Avon points out that in the Bible there is the most extraordinary one of these euphemisms. It's in the Old Testament, and you can look it up, uh, Samuel 1, chapter 24, verse 3, and it's the story of David who was hiding from Samuel in a cave, when into the cave came Samuel to evacuate his bowels, or, as the authorised version puts it, to cover his feet. <laughs> extraordinary phrase. And he says most modern versions of the Bible say to relieve himself. One marvellous American version of the Bible is reputed to put it, and Samuel went into the cave to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you're going to do during the break, you can use any one of those euphemisms. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hurry back, please, because we want you right uh, where you are for part two of this Supreme Championship of Countdown. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs> love this part of the world. Yes. Someone you know. Oh, in passing. En passant. How very English. It's history. Oh, I think she'd like you to change the subject. What a beautiful hotel. 16th century. But Luke was checking in. Yes, but that's history. The new Renault Megane Coupe. It talks your language. People love good food, but they can worry about all the garlic in it. Me, I eat what I want because I have Breath Assure, the internal breath freshener. It works from the inside where bad breath often starts. Breath Assure gives me that extra confidence to be close to people. I swallow a few powerful capsules and I have cleaner breath for hours and hours. Breath Assure. In spite of this advertising, Breath Assure has become the number one breath freshener in America. Must be one hell of a product. Super Fresco Color is the Texture Fabulous. Looking for a wall covering with a bit more to it? Super Fresco Color is the Texture Fabulous. One with more choice of colors and designs. Super Fresco Color is the Texture Fabulous. One which is easy both to hang and strip. Super Fresco Color is the Texture Fabulous. Then go right out and ask for it by name. Super Fresco Color is the Texture Fabulous. Super Fresco from Graham and Brown. Isn't anything else just wallpaper? If you have difficulty getting upstairs, a Stanner stairlift will make it easy for you. Simply press a button and you'll glide up or down smoothly and safely. This model even goes round corners. Your Stanner could save you the trouble and cost of moving away to a flat or bungalow. So you can carry on enjoying life in your own home. For your free information pack, dial 100 and ask for free phone Stanner. I think when you're a bit older, 
You really need to uh, help your joints along a little bit. The Seven Seas is the only one I've ever taken. I trust it and I feel better for it. The last lesson of the day is always on the top floor. Good job my knees are up to it. Millions of people take Seven Seas pure cod liver oil to help relieve aches, pains and joint stiffness. It's the choice of generations. TV, video, restaurants, theatre, cinema. With so much to do, how do you avoid missing out? This Saturday, The Times launches the free 52-page directory. The ultimate easy-to-use guide to staying in, going out, but never missing out. The directory in The Times. Back with us for part two of a countdown. John Clark is there on the 29. Champion John and champion Derek there. Derek Coombs, 23. So, Derek, it's over to you. Constant, please, Carol. OK, thank you, Derek. <coughs> R. And a vowel, please. I. Uh, another consonant. Another consonant. B. And another consonant. D. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant. H. Vowel, please. <laughs> I. And a consonant, please. S. And another consonant, please. And another consonant. Thank you, Derek. And M. Good on you. Here we go on this one. What do you say, Derek? Seven. Seven, good, John. And seven. And seven. Derek, seven. Birdies. Birdies. As in golf. Yes. Oh, and the, uh, well, sure, birdies, yeah, John. Yeah. And, I've, and I've birdied this hole as well, yes. You've got birdies. 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 Mm. Now, is it in golf? Ye well. Yes, I'm sure that's Well, the be singular's fine. in. How about the plural? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, well, well done. done. Yeah. We'll take that. Yeah. Birdies. Yeah, good. A score nice. of one stroke less than par at any hole. You could have. There's also another word, mm -hmm. nothing to do with golf at all, which for seven letters, uh, if um, you found <coughs> somebody extremely attractive, you might say that they were dishier than people who are not so attractive. Dishier for seven. Okay. Well, we've uh, got seven there. Birdies and dishier. Great, great words, those. And uh, on now to round six with you, John. Consonant, please, Carol. Okay. Thank you, John. R. And another one, please. T. And another. And F. And a vowel, please. O. And another vowel. Another one. E. And another. I. And a consonant, please. Consonant. L. And another. Y. And another consonant, please. And another consonant. And that is another R. And that's... Nine in the frame, so let's start the game. We go to say seven. Seven. You can say seven, Derek. Seven. You're saying Derek seven, which is trefoil. <coughs> trefoil. Yes. John. Uh, loftier. Loftier and trefoil. We've got seven. Good seven letter words. Yep. Both very good. Both absolutely acceptable. And there's also another seven letter which is terrify. Terrify mm -hmm. is also there. So. Yeah. Okay, but uh, trefoil and loftier fine for seven. So good scores now. Forty-three and thirty-seven. Uh, they've been absolutely. 
uh, well, obviously not entirely even, but uh, more or less even. And there's three more rounds to go, so um, we've got some definite chance of a winner here. So let's see what you've got, Derek, for your letters, please. Consonant, please, for Carol. Thank you, Derek. D. And another one, please. H. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant. X. And a better consonant, please. <laughs> I'll try. D. And vowel. I. Another vowel. A. A consonant. P. And another consonant, please. And another consonant, Derek. Ooh, W. So, for the last letters game, the countdown is on. So who's got a nice word? Derek. I've only got five. All right. What have you got, John? Five. OK, well, we're down to five chaps, so uh, the champions are saying five. Must be difficult. What have you got, John? Waded. Waded. Yes, waded. Waded. And Derek? Wiped. Wiped. Wiped and waded. Yes, well, we have not got John five ourselves. Mm. There's uh, aphid or aphid, those little green things which fly around in the summer, and wax, but uh, just five. <coughs> No, OK, so waded is just one of those we've yeah. got there, but uh, not so good, chaps. OK, well, let's leave the letters, and we now not go to the numbers for the last time. Numbers, please, from John. Oh, the 1212, one, two, please, Carol. Yeah, 12. And the 1 and the 2. Thank you. We have then 4 and 9, another 4 and 1, 10 and 25. And the target is 371. Thank you. After 371, 30 seconds to go. Let's start. Well, 371 we're after. Who's got that? John? 371. Derek? 371. <laughs> OK, well, it's probably your turn now to go first, John. OK, 10 plus 4 plus 1. Yes, it's 15. 15 times 25. And you're nearly there. 375. And subtract the other 4. And you take away the 4. Yeah, absolutely right. Yes. Yep, OK, 10 for you. And Derek? I got 15 a different way. I did 10 plus 9 minus 4. OK. But, and then you subtracted the and other four. subtracted the other okay, four. OK, lovely. Uh, 10 for you, sir. So you are now on 52. You are on 58, John. And guess what? This is a crucial conundrum. So this is what we all enjoy <coughs> here, sitting here, the comfort of our chairs. And these two ain't so sure about it. But uh, I'm sure that uh, they're up to it. Fingers poised, John. Eyes on the screen. It's very important to win this for both of them. So, please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. You think it's scripture? He says after 31 <laughs> seconds. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it is scripture. <laughs> well, I do applaud him. Because... <laughs> yeah, it's after time, obviously, but uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, he is uh, just the winner there with 58 
2.52. So had he been a couple of seconds earlier, he would have got, got 68, but still it would have been the winner. So, John, we uh, salute you. You have a place now in our semi-final uh, of uh, this group of our supreme champions. So we'll be seeing you again later on. But in the meantime, well done, John Clark. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we all feel like after the end of a tense. Very tense, very, very close. Uh, bad luck, young man, but uh, it was nice to see you again. Yeah, glad to be in such illustrious company. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Well, we've all the great the faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't think for a minute you met me. <laughs> Don't worry, I know, I know my place. Anyway, well, we say well done to you. Uh, this is a, hopefully a nice memento of uh, your appearance with our supreme champion so may that grace uh, your mantelpiece for many years to come and very best of luck to you Derek Coombs goodbye <laughs> well that just uh, wraps things up uh, for this week but uh, champions are plenty more of course next week here are our first two for next week Andy Bodle there he used to be a script writer now he's a newspaper waller you get the uh, conundrum Andy Alas, not. Alas, not. And what about you, Phil Jordan, taxi driver from Manchester? No, but I invented a good word instead. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you'll need plenty of those on Monday. So that's the scene for Monday, so we'll see you on Monday. So meanwhile, from uh, the illustrious company of Nigel and Susie, of course, to whom uh, Derek was no doubt referring, mm -hmm. and to Miss Waterman, of course. Yes, we'll see you on Monday. Yeah, have a great weekend. See you Monday. Goodbye. <laughs>